Hello, brothers and sisters. I hope you are doing well. And so today I have a message from the Lord. But before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the beginning of sorrows spoken in Matthew 24 has already begun. I hope you understand that no one is excluded from the coming judgment. If you are seeking the Lord on a daily basis, you know that. Amen? Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, verse 6 is extremely important, brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is the life. In this time we are living in and in the time to come, including eternal life. If you teach that Jesus Christ is not the only way, or if you believe that, Jesus Christ is not the only way to heaven. You are not saved. You have no life. If you die, you perish. It does not matter who you are. A king, a queen, a leader, a pastor, a teacher, a preacher, or any religion you might belong to, rich or poor, it does not matter if Jesus Christ is not your life today. You are nothing. You have nothing. You are not saved. John 3 verse 36 says, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. I hope you take time, brothers and sisters, and study John chapter 3 and John 14. Pray and seek the Lord for discernment and understanding the meaning of believing in Jesus Christ. If you claim to believe in Jesus Christ, it means that you have received and accepted him as your God and Savior. You believe in him and you repented for your sins. You are baptized of water and spirit. You love Jesus Christ above all. You keep his commandments and you live in obedience. Seek the Lord while he may be found because he is the only one who is going to save you in the coming days. Amen? We are getting closer and closer than ever before. Of course, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. And this is why the scripture tells us to watch, pray, and be ready every day. Brothers and sisters, Keep your house in order. Stay right before God. We do not have much time left. Before I go through the message of today, I want to share with you a scripture from the Lord. And this is Psalm 24. I am going to read only verses 3 and 4. Who might ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who might stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. Brothers and sisters, take time and do 
a self-assessment. The Lord is calling you to seek him in a prayer and worship and in fasting. He wants you to ask him to clean your hands. The Lord is calling us to turn to him right now and harm ourselves before him and repent of our sins, iniquities, and transgressions before it is too late. Repentance means turn away from your sin, go and sin no more. We must repent our sins. We must stay ready every day. Amen. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord. I will start with a dream I had a few days ago. Please take these messages as warnings, not the judgment. We are not to judge our brothers and sisters. Instead of judging others, we pray for one another. Only Jesus Christ is the judge. I had a dream a few days ago in which I saw the neighbors fighting. They were full of rage, anger, hatred, and violence. They wanted to kill each other. One was accusing the other for having done a lot of harm to her. I was standing there watching and suddenly I stopped them and started sharing my testimony on how I used to be a very offended person and how my offense used to cause me anger, hatred, rage, envy, jealousy, division, and violence. I was telling them how the Lord delivered me from doing those evil actions and how I came to love my neighbors and forgiveness. While I was speaking, I heard a voice saying, tell them a small sin will send you to hell. I said that, then one of them looked at me and said, is that true? I said, yes, a small sin will send you to hell. The dream ended. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord, brothers and sisters. The Lord used 1 Corinthians 6. And you might pay attention to verses 7, 8, 9, 10, 19, and 20. Deuteronomy 27 and Leviticus 20 to help you to understand this message. And I hope always you take time to study these scriptures from the Lord himself. Pray and seek him for discernment and understanding. He gave me scripture, Deuteronomy 27, verse 24. It says, Cursed is the one who attacks his neighbor secretly. The Lord hates conflicts between brothers and sisters. Strife between brothers is an abomination to the Lord. He gave me a scripture, Proverbs 6, verse 19b. The Lord hates sowing 
discord among brothers. He said that it will be better to let yourselves be hated, cheated, and mistreated than to defend your right at the expense of God's glory and a higher good of his kingdom. He said that you must accept wrong for the sake of God's glory, brothers and sisters. He talked about forgiveness. He said that you must forgive your brother or your sister from your heart. He wants you to study Matthew 18 from verse 15 to 35. He talked about Matthew 6, verse 14 and 15, which says, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Fair enough, brothers and sisters. Because if you are dealing with unforgiveness, you have heard that God will not forgive your sins, neither. Which means that if your sins are not forgiven, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. I hope you take this message very serious because we do not have much time left and many Christians are dealing with unforgiveness. The Lord gave me another very important scripture to study, Matthew 18, verse 3. Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, Unless you are converted and you become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. The Lord wants us to be humble as little children. We must, as children, be harmless and inoffensive and void of malice. First Corinthians 14 verse 20. Converting grace makes us like little children, brothers and sisters. When we repent our sins committed against the Most High God, we are converted, said the Lord God. The Lord gave me another scripture, Galatians 6, verse 1. The message from the Lord is that if someone is caught in sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. The Lord talked about first Corinthians six verse nine and ten. But please study the whole chapter because you need to understand this message. The Lord is reminding us how serious your sin is. The only thing you might gain from doing wrong to your brother or a sister is eternity with the unrighteous. He said that a Christian who can hate or do anything wrong to his brother or a sister without conscience is not a Christian at all. He 
he said it at a question who wronged his brother or a sister sits himself into first Corinthians 6 verse 9 and 10 I'm going to read this scripture brothers and sisters first Corinthians 6 verse 9 and 10 says do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God do not be deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor homosexuals nor sodomites nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor liberalize, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Please take time yourself and read and study this scripture in order to understand this message. The Lord talked about sodomites. This is terrible and disgusting, brothers and sisters. Sodomites means any sexual act involving oral sex and anal sex. The Lord said that Christians are practicing sodomites even with animals. This is terrible beyond brothers and sisters. He gave me scripture, Deuteronomy 27, verse 21. It says, Cursed is the one who lies with any kind of animal. The Lord said that doing these abominations is a crime against nature. If you are doing these things, brothers and sisters, you must stop and repent before it is too late. The Lord said that None of those who live characterized by these sins will inherit the kingdom of God. Understand that God is not saying that if you have done these things, you will be automatically excluded from the kingdom of God. No, he's not saying that. On the contrary, He's calling you to turn away from your evil doings and repent because sin, even a small one, is a significant matter to him. Brothers and sisters, I hope you take this message very seriously because we do not have much time left. The Lord said that if you are fighting with your brother or a sister, you need to see that your life is dominated and characterized by sin of hatred, rage, envy, jealous, division, and violence, whether physical or moral violence. Therefore, you should be concerned 
for your salvation, said the Lord God. The Lord said that any forgiveness will send you to hell. The Lord said that Christians must be careful when they talk about sins in the lives of those who do not know Jesus Christ yet. Instead of judging them or encouraging them to continue in their sin, you must communicate the message of salvation in Jesus Christ. Jesus will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. This is very important. We must not judge or encouraging our brothers and sisters to keep living in sin. The Lord said that if you are encouraging someone to continue living in disobedience, you are teaching him to rebel against the Most High God. Consequently, God will charge you with causing people to trust in a lie as well inciting rebellion against him. He wants you to study Jeremiah 28 from verse 12 to 17. We all have sinned, brothers and sisters, and so we all must repent before it is too late. We can have our sins washed away by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 22 verse 16. We are washed by the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 brothers and sisters i hope you take time to examine yourself then repent all your sins before it is too late hebrews 12 verse 14 says Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. It is a matter of holiness and righteousness. I hope you share this video with our brothers and sisters because God does not wish anyone to perish. Amen. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now, receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins and then get baptized of water and spirit. Time is short. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in his Son's name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.